Hey, welcome back. The Lethbridge Pronghorns were on the rugby pitch yesterday looking to avenge an upset loss to Calgary a couple of weeks ago. That was the team's first loss since 2010 in Canada West play. Strong crowd on hand at University Stadium for the Horns' only home game of the season as they played host to Alberta. As expected, it was a physical one. Watch Allison Fairburn get run over by Tiffany Wideen and she'd be okay. Hey, these girls are tough. Pandas strike first out of the ruck. Ball comes to Amy Spatos, shakes off two defenders and in for the easy try. So the Pandas lead by seven. Moments later, Miranda Monte takes a big tackle but gets the ball to Chelsea Guthrie. Great individual effort as she is by three horns. Guthrie is in and the Pandas are up by 14. Horns in a position they have not faced that often. That's trailing the ball game. The onslaught continues. Shelby Brennan feeds Bailey Campbell. There's another try for Alberta. Second half we go. Horns get on the board. Alex Hendricks, the toss to Cassandra Orr. She's hauled down by three pandas, and that made it 21-7 Alberta. The pandas hand the mighty pronghorns their second straight loss. 38-19. The Horns have a week now to prepare for the Canada West Championships next week, and their first game is against the Calgary Dinos in Edmonton. The Horns will attempt to tie a record and win a seventh straight. Canada West title. The Pronghorns are also joining in the fight against breast cancer. It's pink in the rink night this coming Saturday night at Nicholas Sharon Arena as the Horns women's hockey team takes on the UBC Thunderbirds. The night will include auctioning off game-worn jerseys as well as a silent auction. The proceeds will go towards the Canadian Cancer Society. WHL scores from Sunday. Mackenzie Skapsky made 25 stops in the cage for the ice as Kootenai upsets the Edmonton Oil Kings, Darren Deitz led the way with a goal and three helpers for the Blades over the Tigers. And the Hurricanes return to action this Wednesday night as they take on the Brandon Wheat Kings. Game time is 7 o'clock and tickets are still available for that one at the NMAX Center. Well, most boys grow up arm wrestling their fathers, hoping one day they'll twist that wrist in victory. But few continue to pursue this sport to the competitive level, let alone on the world stage. What guy doesn't like a good steak? He is the master of meat. I still say Canada has the best beef. The filet aficionado. That's world class, that's gold medal right there. But there is more than meets the ribeye for the man simply known as the butcher. Anything else for you today? Do not be fooled by his friendly customer <laughs> service. Doesn't matter if you're my best friend, I, I still want to rip your arm off. Patrick Callan is an arm wrestler. I just love the intensity of it all. A seven-time national champion, a 24-year veteran of the sport. I have an unassuming body type, so most people look at me and go, oh, this guy can't be that strong. But just Three. take a look. Come on, four, push it, five, good work, keep going, six. Arm wrestling has evolved over the years. Callan says it's no longer about pure brute strength. That's it. But rather reaction time. That's better. And most of all, technique. It's not the big biceps that win the match. It's, it's really all in the hand and the wrist. Really and so work. Callan focuses on punishing hand-specific exercises, like flipping 10-pound plates, all the way to 25-pound plates. Nice work. Let's just compare here. Like, let's look at your hands. <laughs> Those are butcher hands. Butcher hands with sausage fingers who fuels himself up with, you guessed it. That's a man steak, right there. I've been eating a steak every day for probably the last 10 years, every day. Every day? Every day. Without fail? Without fail, not even heartburn. He deals with rare meat, who competes in a rare sport. And now I'm gonna take his wrist out. Two unique passions that really go hand in hand for Patrick Kellen. In one of my first tournaments, um, one of my first mentors uh, called me up to the stage and my technique at that time was the chop. So it was the butcher's chop. Uh, unbeknownst to me, he said, up next is Patrick the Butcher Cowan. Jason Pierce, CTV Sports. Isn't that awesome? Great story. That. Yeah. My brother and I used to arm wrestle all the time. <laughs> I think mine did too. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, an event that has literally leapt into the history books when we come back.